Hey, how you doing? David Taub here from Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. Today, we're going to learn the song Africa by Toto. Fantastic song, great band. The song was released in 1981 and written by David Pouch and Jeff Porcaro, and Toto was just this amazing band. A uh, bunch of studio musicians, monster players, right? All these guys, Steve Lukather, Jeff Porcaro, Steve Porcaro. I arranged this song for one acoustic guitar, okay? So a lot of the keyboard parts I transcribed for a guitar. Now this song has about nine chords in it, lots of bar chords. The changes are a little challenging, but you know, I like to mix it up a little bit here at Epic Guitar Instruction. This is more of an intermediate level song, but I have tons of beginner songs, advanced songs, intermediate songs. So take a good look around the channel. There's something for everybody. and. Don't don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That's really important because it helps us to keep bringing the content and you'll be alerted when we have new uh, content loaded up. Um, please leave a comment below. Let us know what songs you'd like to see, what lessons you'd like to see. If you like the video, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. The original studio recording, the song is very fast, so we're going to slow it down a little bit. It just sounds a little better, played a little slower on acoustic. And we're going to play it in the, the proper key with the capo at the second fret. Alright, so get your capos out, second fret, and first let me show you all the chords you're going to need to play. Now I'll give you the chord names in relation to the capo, okay? So you're going to need a uh, G chord, B minor, a, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, F sharp minor over E, basically just uh, move your bar finger down a couple strings and you want to play the open E string, get F sharp minor with E in the bass, you're going to need E minor, C, and D. Arrangement-wise, the song only has a couple of parts. So if you can get these parts down, they're just repeated throughout the song. Basically, there's an intro, and that intro is used in the verse and chorus to kind of as a connecting little bit to connect those parts. So you have your intro, then you have your verses. The verses are the same, verse one, verse two. The only difference with verse two is instead of singing four vocal lines, he sings three vocal lines, but the chord changes are the same. And then there's the chorus, and it's the same chorus throughout the song. Um, there's an outro section, but basically all it is is you double up on the chorus and, and then you play the intro four times. So the intro is going to be a G, you're going to hold a G chord, you're going to play an F sharp note, uh, think of it like second fret in relation to the capo, and then a B minor chord. Let me play it for you then I'll, and I'll tell you, and then I'll go over the strum patterns and the rhythms. It'll sound like this. right into the first verse. Uh, so you hold the G chord and basically you could just kind of, that's kind of the rhythm. Um, you could just play the low E string, just play that uh, G notes, third fret relation to the capo. Down, up, down, up, 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 down. Right, even if you play a couple of the other strings, it's okay, it doesn't have to be exact. So basically that's the rhythm. Then let go, play that F sharp, half step back to the B minor chord. Now on the B minor chord, the strum pattern I'm doing is down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Break it up into like three sections. Down, 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 up, up, down, one, up, down, up, down, two, down, up. Put them all together. B minor. Okay, if I do it slow, it'll sound like this. That's the intro, he does it four times, so it goes into the first verse. Basically, it's three times through the progression. Fourth time it changes, and then into a chorus. And for most of the whole verse section, the strum pattern is just gonna be like a down, 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 up. 
change. Down, 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 up, change. into the chorus. Slow A, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, F sharp minor over E, G, B minor, F sharp minor. Now you play the intro. But when you get to that B minor chord, you just hit it once, and then you go back to the A, and that starts the second time. You do that three times. Then the fourth time, starts off the same, same thing, A, C-sharp minor, F-sharp minor, F-sharp minor over E. Then from there you go right to the intro. But this time on the B minor you play the strum just like you did in the intro. We did the first time with the full strum. right into the chorus. And if you're struggling with bar chord changes in general, I can really help you with that. Um, click on that link in the YouTube description box. I'll send you a killer video lesson on essential fret hand techniques for playing and changing bar chords. It'll really get your bar chord playing and changing skyrocketed to the next level. It's a very detailed lesson. I'll pair it with my ebook and I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. On the chorus, the rhythm is gonna be, for most of the chords through the whole thing, just down, 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 up, down, 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 up similar to the to the verses right in the chorus it's kind of the same thing whereas three times the first three times through it you play the progression one way and then it changes the fourth time now the first three times the chorus is E minor C G D play that three times the fourth time you're gonna go E minor C G B minor D Quick E minor to D, and then right back to the intro two times, because that gets you into the second verse. Let me play the chorus for you, it'll sound like this. like I said earlier how they're using that intro as a connecting device to connect the different parts of the song into verse 2. Verse 2 same as verse 1 except instead of playing it three times in the same way and then one time into the chorus he only does two vocal lines and then he changes it into the chorus. I'm gonna do a play along. I'm gonna play the intro right into the verse right into the chorus back into the intro so you can see how these are all tied together it'll sound like this
verse 2. Now in the original recording, there's like a, there's a solo section which is uh, played on top of the verse chords. Probably leave that out if you're just playing solo acoustic and you'll just go between those verses and the choruses. And then to end the song, you just do, do the chorus twice, right back into the intro. Four times you play the, uh, that intro and then you can end it on the B minor like this. I'll just do the last two times. Song so much fun to play. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. I got tons more lessons coming. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as you'll be notified when we have new lessons out. Um, click on that link below. I'll send you my detailed video lesson on bar chord playing and changing and my ebook. It'll really help you skyrocket your bar chord playing and changing to the next level. Just click on that link below. And if you get a second, I just dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. It's a slamming record. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. I'd love for you to hear it and I'd love your feedback. Um, it's streaming on all the platforms as well as it's available on CD at CD Baby. I'll put links to all that in the YouTube description box. Check it out, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and for your support over the years and years, so appreciated. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock up.